Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite tools for quickly turning a web page or a set of notes into a practice quiz. It's called Note, and you can find it at getnote.com. Let's go ahead and log in to my account. And we're going to take a look here at my notebook. You can see I have some notes in here. And one of the really cool things about Note is that you can import an article from any web page. So I can import my own Google Notes. I can go in here and import my Google Drive or import notes from my computer that are in a document. But I want to import an article. So I have this article here about the Tour de France. Wikipedia article. Let's go ahead, paste that in and import it, it's going to create a notebook page for me. And then it's going to create a quiz based on that notebook for me. So there it is. It's importing the note. And you can see here's my new notebook. And it's imported that entire article. Now, that's a long article. And you'll notice it's called Untitled. So let's change up the title. And just say Tour de France. And you'll see now I'm just going to change that to be a heading so that in my notes I'm looking at it and I can see that that's a, a separate title or a heading and not just part of the article. And now we see over here on the left hand side it changed to Tour de France notes. Now here's the cool part. Let's go over here to quizzes. Click on quiz. It's going to make a quiz for me. This is a practice quiz that I can take right now in my web browser. The other neat thing about this is it will sync up to my phone and to my tablet. So if I want to access this practice quiz on the go, I can do it on my phone or on my tablet as well as right here on my desktop. So here's my new practice quiz. You'll see this quiz has 25 questions in it. If I like the question, I can give it a thumbs up. Or if I want to say it's a poor question, I can give it a thumbs down. But let's go ahead and answer this quick question. Maybe we'll say there. Oh, there it is. There's the correct answer. Now, you'll notice there are different question types here. There are multiple choice. There are matching. And there are fill-in-the-blank style questions. So we can go and drag these around. There we go. And we'll drag that one over there. Check our answers. All terms have matched. There we go. And we'll see, there's another question. Now, if I want to just fast forward, I can just keep tapping along, hitting the enter, enter key, and it will fast forward me. Now, here's one of the fill in the blank type of questions. I can just start typing my answers here. Uh, okay, so there's the correct answer. And I can just fast forward all the way to the end by just hitting the enter key. Now, in addition to getting instant feedback on each individual question, at the end here, I'll get a summary. I can view my results for each one of the questions that you, you can see here. The only one I got right was number two. Now, if I wanna do a new quiz, I can click that, or if I want to restart this quiz and do the exact same quiz again, I'll hit the restart button. New quiz will create a new quiz with a different set of questions. Questions may have a different order for their answer choices, or they may be completely brand new questions as well. Now I can close that out. Now, in this case, I used a rather long article. If I wanted, let's say, use a subsection of this Tour de France article. I might click on the first Tour de France and import just that URL instead of the URL for the entire article. And then I'll have 
a notebook just about that little section. Of course, I could always copy and paste out of here and then create a new note altogether and call it second Tour de France note. I should have copied and pasted better. Let me try that again. There we go. Let's copy that and let's put it in here. And there it is. And now I can create a quiz based on just that little note. We'll see this one only has seven questions because it was a shorter article. So that's a short overview of Note. It's a great tool for creating practice quizzes. And coming up in April, they're going to be launching a beta of a teacher version that will allow you to share your quizzes and your notebooks with your students. So if you're interested in that, head to their website and sign up for the teacher beta. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.